All right, these are very interesting developments taking place in the political landscape of Tamil Nadu, where over the last few days, the Tamil Nadu BJP chief Anamalai has been saying that he's going to expose all the corruption in the top parties. And just a few days ago, he said that he was going to release the DMK files. He did that on Friday. He claimed that the DMK files were a report of the corruption within the DMK party. Now, you remember in the state, what is interesting is that the AI DMK is the DMK's main rival. And the AI DMK has actually rubbished what Anamalai had to say. Their leader, EPSC Palani Swami, has hit back at Anamalai. He's called Anamalai immature. Those are the developments so far. Yesterday, DMK sent a legal notice to Anamalai over all of these remarks. Uh, let's go over to our colleague Purnima right now. For more context, we'll do that in a second. First, let's play out what EPS had to say. நம்முடைய <laughs> Now our colleague Purnima is on the phone to bring us a lot more context. Purnima, Balaniswami and Anamalai, the BJP leader and the AIDMK leader, they both hail from Western Tamil Nadu and they've had a good camaraderie, it seemed, for about a year and a half. Can you bring us context? I know that recently some BJP leaders uh, defected to the AIDMK. That possibly led to... Uh, some souring in the two's relationship. But can you bring us more context and can you tell us, do these recent barbs take both parties and, and the lower levels of both parties by surprise? Well, uh, it did uh, take uh, the, the Kader by surprise and uh, as you rightly pointed out, both are from the western part of Tamil Nadu and the rift has not suddenly escalated. It's been slowly escalating ever since uh, the BJP tried to uh, have a uh, have a patch-up between the uh, Edapadi and the Opani Selvam camp. That did not go down well with uh, uh, the Kader of the AIA DMK and ever since then, Edapadi has been making statements against Tanamalai, not just Edapadi, senior leaders of the ADMK as well. And people moving out of BJP and joining the AI ADMK was yet another reason why Anna Malay reportedly in an internal meeting said that he prefers the BJP uh, to fight it out alone in 2024. Since then, he's also been reiterating his stance while Edapadi says that Anna Malay is immature and alliance is decided not by a state leader but by the top leadership from Delhi. That's the message that uh, Edapadi says, saying that the alliance is very much intact and it's the top brass of the BJP from Delhi who will make that statement and that they should not consider Anna Malay's statement seriously. That's uh, the statement that Edapadi has said uh, twice over the last couple of weeks. Okay. Thank you for that context, Purnima. We're going to